How many of you have ever been hunting? How about duck hunting? Duck hunting is a recreational activity that many Southerners participate in. Some even make millions off of it. We all live in Florida, which some call the South, some don't, and many people have been hunting or have heard of the show Duck Dynasty. I was born and raised in North Louisiana, where my dad spent most of his mornings duck hunting before going to work, and oftentimes with a now very famous family, the Robertsons. Today I would like to inform you of the history of duck hunting, the process of duck hunting, and one family who made millions off of it. To start with, I'll give you a brief history of duck hunting. It begins around the 1700s. Shotguns were the first guns used to duck hunt. The matchlock shotgun was the first gun that was ever used, and this is um, like literally a match, and they would light it, and it would go down and shoot the gun off. And according to Big Game Hunting USA, um, these shotguns were only able to shoot about 25 yards, which made duck hunting really difficult because you shoot the ducks when they're in the air. Also, people living on the East Coast hunted duck ducks for food, and as you all know, the East Coast is full of waterways, whether it's ponds, lakes, rivers, everything. So it was a very easy access meal for them. However, ducks have a season. And with that season, they migrate. So they migrate from north to south, and most ducks are bred in Canada, and then fly south. They go down four main um, flyways, which are the Atlantic, the Mississippi, the Central, and the Pacific. According to birdnature.com, Migration routes may be defined as lanes of individual travel from any particular breeding ground to the winter quarters of the birds that use them. Flyways, on the other hand, may well be conceived as those broader areas in which related migration routes are associated. Flyways go all over America and some of them cross routes and that's why sometimes you get random ducks that don't match any of the other ducks like in your front yard or something. So now that you know a little bit about the history of duck hunting, I'm going to tell you about the process of it. Um, it's not as simple as most activities or most hunting of any sort because there are multiple things you have to do. The first thing is you have to set up duck decoys. These are both decoys. And they are set up, set up in J and V shapes so that the ducks will fly into the decoys. And you set them up so that they are going towards the wind because ducks fly into the wind with their backs to the sun. They also, ducks land um, within 20 yards of a food or shelter source, so you always put the decoys around that area. The second step in the process is calling. This is a duck call. And there's three main ways to, that you can use duck calls. There's feeding. Um, welcoming and hailing. Hailing is just when one duck is sitting and wants to get the other ducks that are flying around attention. Welcoming is when ducks are in the water and there's ducks flying in. Welcoming is the usual call that you hear whenever you think of a duck call, just normal quack. And then feeding, which is when they're eating. There's times to call ducks and times not to call ducks. You only call ducks as much as they call you and you only call them to fly towards you and once they get towards you, you stop, so they'll come down. Now that you've learned a little about the history and a little bit about the hunting process, I'm going to tell you about the family that made millions. This is the Robertson family. The Robertson family is from West Monroe, Louisiana. Their patriarch of the family is Phil, and he's the one who founded the company. Phil was an all-star athlete in high school, and he went to play college football for Louisiana Tech University. He was the quarterback, and Terry Bradshaw was actually his backup quarterback, which is ironic because Terry Bradshaw is one of the most famous quarterbacks in the US. Um, Phil started Duck Commander instead of going to the NFL draft, and there's a long running joke on the TV show that Phil, fit, Phil went for the Ducks and Terry went for the Bucks. Phil is married to his wife and has four sons, three of which work at the warehouses and one is a pastor. Phil was originally a school teacher and decided that he 
well, it's not coming too much to teach anymore. So the company began due to the family not being satisfied with duck calls. According to duckcommander.com, never satisfied with duck calls that were on the market, Phil began to experiment with making a call that would produce the exact sound of a duck. A duck call for duck killers, not world champion style duck hunters, claiming no duck would even place in a duck call contest. And so in 1972, the first Duck Commander call was born. This, right now, you can literally buy these duck calls in any sporting goods store, any outdoor store, they're everywhere. In 1973, there was a patent put on the company, and that is what started making millions. Today, the family's net worth is over $100 million. The family has their own TV show on AETV called Duck Dynasty, which sure many of you have seen it. And according to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Willie Robertson, who is the oldest son and the CEO of the company, alone is worth $10 million. They also have shows on the Outdoor Channel, and many times they go on duck hunts, and Luke Ryan and Jason Aldean will accompany them on these hunts, and they oftentimes give a private concert afterwards for their whole family. Also, the family owns two companies, Duck Commander and Buck Commander, and Buck Commander is the same thing, but with deer. So, the Robertson family has learned how to take their favorite activity and make it into their job. In conclusion, I hope you have learned a little bit about duck hunting and realized how one person's dream became reality so easily. <coughs> there are many things that people think that make them happy and wish that they could do for the rest of their life. Duck hunting was one family's dream, and they managed to make it their life. So now when you have nothing else to do, tune into AETV and watch Duck Dynasty. The third season series premiere is February 23rd. <laughs>